Alright, welcome and welcome to my first, I think, Dota 1 commentary of a replay. Uh, this is some sort of, I think, tournament, new one going on. I think it's a Philippines one, I'm not really sure about that. But the important thing, this is version 674C, which means in the CM mode there are three additional heroes, Wisp, Rubik and Disruptor, Troll. And I, I will show you two replays or two matches between teams. I'm not really sure if they are good or not. I just basically randomly find or trying to I was trying to find the replay with basically Rubik, Disruptor and Wisp. Um, I only find out uh, Disruptor and Rubik. So this is a game with Rubik and again not really sure about teams. We'll definitely go I guess through the bands. I only found out that I was checking, you know, these games, and Naga Siren is banned very frequently. Akasha is banned in a third free ban. She's banned every single game, and Earthshaker is picked, I think, every single game. So there's a definitely different between Dota One and Dota Two. I think Dota One Earthshaker, okay, was better. You can definitely see that on the picks that that hero is in Dota One much more better than in Dota Two. Lycan, of course, that's the ban every single time and Lunaya, the Templar Assassin, she's bent also. Haven't seen her yet in the you know competitive game or CM mode. I'm not really watching that, but then again, you know, definitely interesting. She was buffed also in the 674. I think the range, you know, you have skill that basically increases your range every single level. That was buffed a little bit. Nessai is definitely the support hero of Asia, let's say. Great for lining, free lane, free lanes, works perfectly. Dragonite, the cache, as I said. Uh, hmm, okay, we'll probably speed it up. As you can see, the second pick was Rubik. So it wasn't the first pick, but second pick is definitely Rubik. And Rubik is... Okay, we'll speed it up. Rubik is an interesting hero, obviously, but, like, how do you lane him? My opinion is that he needs to be solo. Uh, hitting that level 6 as soon as possible, or level 7 for that nuke to be level 4, and then he can start roam. And you know, with the roaming Rubik that can steal your spells, the t the, the fight can definitely turn like in a few seconds. Uh, if you know, if you cast some st like Fissure or Slardar cast is done, Rubik can just take it and do it against you. And you know, it can turn the, the fight uh, with your advantage. But then again, I don't know how they will line it. I'm hoping Rubik can be solo. Um, Tiny, hmm. you know, Tinker will be definitely middle. We know that. Um, tiny against Tinker on middle, like, I think Tinker will just destroy Tiny. Let's just speed it up. There is Avenger, next pick. And one more thing, um, so far I like their pick. Just because of the presence of Slardar, and that is minus armor, that will hurt everybody on the team <laughs> very, very much. Okay, we got Lion. Hmm. So they need one more solo. Because this will be this will be strong tri lane. <laughs> Fissure, Lion, Stun, uh, Slardar. Great for positioning. You know, you can uh, lock them up with the Fissure, and Slardar can just go there and stun him very easily. I'm just waiting for their hmm. last picks. We got the 30 seconds on the Scourge side. Um, let's see. He's saying Puck, the blue one, so expect Puck. Oops, hold on, there's a Spectre. <laughs> and, wow, this is, hmm. You know, I, I will definitely go with Rubik solo. Uh, they're gonna pick Puck, so let's say Rubik will be bottom with a Puck. Tinker mid, obviously. I'm gonna say Tiny against Tinker on a mid. They will put it up like that, so Tiny can have advantage. And she needs to be babysitted by Venge and Windrunner. Windrunner can't even pull. I don't think she can pull against this line. Like Venge goes, you know, I think they will be top. Venge goes, you know, uh, sorry, Spectre goes for a creep, there's a Fissure, there's a stun, and there's additional stun. Like, this is much more stronger lineup. And with the Puck, they said it in the old chat, uh, I mean, sorry, ally chat. Yep, there goes the Puck. Hmm. I think this is much more stronger pick. I think only because of the Spectre. I don't understand the Spectre. Like, what she can do with the Venge and Windrunner online, like, 
the wind has you know she oh sorry wind runner has shackle okay but you know that's kind of a situational they can avoid it as a fissure you know you can cast it fr from freaking here you know you don't need to be there and Sladra can just walk here and stun the specter I mean Venja has stun but it's a very low le low range as her attack is so I'm not really sure not really sure we'll see definitely but definitely I'll be focusing on Rubik as the first time seeing Rubik in a competitive game I'm not really sure okay not really sure how competitive this will be but it's a team, it's a CMO, that's the only thing I need at this moment. We'll see Rubik hopefully owning Puck. Hmm. I don't really think this will be needed, uh, because it looks like... Uh, yep, they're going up. Spectre, whoa, she's lucky. <laughs> she's lucky, lucky, lucky. Yep, this will be it. This is strong fry free lane, wow. I can't see Spectre farming anything, trust me. Rubik against Puck, this is interesting. As you can see, they got six tangos, so they are definitely planning to kill each other, or try to kill each other, or harass each other with the spells. We got Nuke on Puck, the orb. We got Nuke on the lighting, on Rubik. We got his pull, and you know, Puck can shift when he's pulled, you know, when he's lifted, let's say. And Rubik can still nuke him, attack him while, you know, he's lifted, so. Um, will be interesting. Um, I definitely think Rubik should be level, you know, six, and he should be just roaming. Just go top, help your top. And as you can see, Spectre is definitely getting into the trouble. I was not expecting that, but as you can see, hold on. I think it's too loud. I can't really hear myself commentating. There we go. Three, two, one, go. Yep, there goes the first south. It's 50 seconds in, wow. By the way, every line can have kill. Chiny against Tinker can have kills. This can lead up with killing, you know. Him killing him or other way, I don't know. But definitely it will be an interesting game. I think I will miss the first blood. Let me tell you that. I definitely want to keep uh, keep eyes on Rubik. As you can see, he's doing a pretty decent job. He's just attack. He's having... Yeah, a little... Little, it's actually same. 46, 56, 44, 45. So attack is same. Oh, that was a nice shift. Both of them are using tangos like crazy. Three tangos in one minute, 30 seconds. Three tangos gone. So as I said, this will be definitely insane lining, like very like power nuke based lining. And that's what I was saying, like, if Spectre wants to go for this one, he, they can't kill her. Like, you know, even here, there's no problem with that. Yeah, four tangos gone for both of them, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Level 3 Rubik, huh. He's definitely leveling up the nuke at this point, and we'll see if he's nukes him or not. Hmm, maybe not. There's even Rick of Basileus, wow. Well, this will be even more difficult at this moment. Fissure... Ooh! He's hesitating. Oh, that was not a really good one. That was a pretty decent one, but then again, Spectre. Nothing she can do, absolutely nothing. Alright, I'm not really... Uh, let's see, level 3. Level 3 Tinker. Sorry about the... I hit the mic. That didn't do any damage. That didn't do any damage. Uh, it might be level 1, level 2 rockets, but I don't think so. It's not a usual build. And we have zero tangos. By the way, expect... Uh, let me just check... There's a 1... Hmm... So only one crow. I think it will be... It, it is bottle crow, you know. He will heal us and it back to... Okay, there are two of them, alright. Gotcha. I was definitely expecting two of these crowds, you know, one on middle and one for this guy. Because you can't really take, you know, runes like that if you are bottom. You will do the classic bo bottle crow as you can see. Now he, he wants to, there's no rune, so he wants to, sorry, no, no ward, so he wants to check out the... Now here we go, this is on Avenger. Oh, that was a bash. <laughs> Very lucky one. They can still kill the Spectre, that's the thing here, like, she should run away, like... Nice, uh... Alright, it was okay. It actually hit both of them. But Slider doesn't have anything, so... 
I think he should be running away, this guy. <laughs> the his new, by the way, does extreme damage. I think it was slow nerfed, but still it's very decent damage. He should be killing him. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I think it was maybe a mistake just to pull him. Um, because the pull is not really enough level. It was like, you know, one point something seconds. I'll uh, just lift it, so... Or lift, pull, whatever you want to call it. It's called, I think, telekinesis, so, you know. I really think Rubik should have easier time with the puck. Level 6, he will still steal his probably orb or something like that. There we go. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that was close. I would like to check out some stats, like, you know, creep stats, but then again, it's kind of difficult in Nota. 1, 24 for puck. Rubik has 17, so he's definitely a little out farming him. This is interesting. 10, 10. <laughs> and we have 14, 3. Hmm. That's not that bad, but then again, I'm expecting more levers they will get. Spectre will be screwed, completely screwed with their levels, so, you know, just expect... I'm expecting the Spectre to die. I really do. <laughs> just a great fissure, and that's it, you know. They can't really do anything. There is one stun with the Venge, but that's not enough. That, that won't be enough. Hmm. There's the Crow, revealing the puck, so... Let's see if he can actually kill her. I think it was a mistake from a Back to stay there. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> Most definitely. And here we go with the initiation. Fissure will lock him up. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. What could they do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, one bash and she would be probably in trouble also. I think they have only one crow on the Scourge team, right? Yeah, they have only one. Uh, Sentinel running uh, two of them, so I think, you know, they are in better position, Sentinel, just because of this. This is definitely a way to do it. Um, I like it. I like the Fatal Double Crow. Here we go, look at that. Illusion Orb and. But basically, two nukes in the same time, because. The good thing about the Rubik is he steals your spell, and the spell is cast instantly, okay? It doesn't have the animation, it's just there. If he if he steals Fissure, it will be instant. Maybe they should go for Venge, but uh, they're definitely trying to. Let's see the Earth Shaker, if he can pull something off. Nope, he cancel it, cancel it second time. <laughs> Vint, maybe? Uh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, he doesn't have any mage. If he steals Fissure, it's instant. Hook, instant. But then again, you know, I have to talk... One second. I have to talk about how to counter Rubik. If you are Puck, you know, you have... Even your shift is decent ability, so it doesn't really work for Puck. But, you know, even this guy, he can save the Totem, you know, on level 1, let's say. And he can cast the Totem after ulti, after Fissure every single time. And, you know, there's a Rubik nearby. And Rubik will have Totem, like, you know, melee... Not even... It's not even stun, you know. It's just stomp in the ground, you know, with the freaking thing. So that's just shit, you know. With a slardar, yes, but you know, if he steals a melee stun, it's a melee stun, like, you know. He can drain the creep and Rubik will have it grid drain, you know. Tide can do the anchor smash. So you can kind of a counter Rubik just being not stupid. You know, if he cast Ravage well, you probably shouldn't keep the Ravage as the last spell, right? <laughs> or any ulti for that matter. Right now I'm expecting Slardar to have advantage over Spectre. 21... 21, 21, 17, yep. It's starting to go up. And 14... and sorry, 16 denies. 16 denies just because there's a no range on the range. And there's that... well... There's that Fissure, and there's that Lion. They can't do anything, and it will be a problem even for Wind. You know, Wind is not a good support when she doesn't have anything. And, you know, you need at least one item on a, on a Wind. Like, Shackles are not enough, or just Shackles. Okay, he's porting down, and I think this will be death of Rubik. There is no ward at all, so he's completely in the dark. We can't even see like that. This will be interesting. Yep, he's falling for it. There's ulti for Puck, so, you know. There we go. 
He missed the illusionary orb, but uh, that wasn't big, big of a deal, so... That's Rubik. And I think, you know, um, for my taste, the Rubik should just go up. Help them <laughs> as much as you can. Because he's got a that lift. So he can lift the Slardar, put him like in a good position for Revenge or for the Shackle, and then you know follow it up with uh, with something else. But he should be, I think, going top. The power of Rubik is not because of items. Like he can build, I don't know, four staff, you know, but or arcane boots. He needs arcane boots, but four staff maybe. Like, but it's not. He's not dependent on items. I think so, at least. I would go f solo definitely, but in this situation, level nine, like. There's the orb. Illusory orb, or whatever it is. <laughs> orb. <laughs> He's gonna play with the Puck, but then again, you know, Puck farmed is much more than farm Rubik, item-wise, you know, creep-wise. Rubik will have 4 staff, arcane boots, okay, but Puck can, you know, fork dagger, and dagger, that's... Puck with the dagger and Puck with no dagger, that's, you know, completely different heroes. He can do so much more with the dagger. Escape, initiate the ulti, lift through everything almost. So, you know. I think it might be a mistake here, staying there. Puck has okay time, he doesn't care. He has, you know, 30, 42 creeps. Highest number on map. <laughs> He's pretty okay. He's got 40, but 42 on Puck and 40 on Rubik is not the same. It's better for Puck at this moment, it's my opinion. Let's see the tiny. Not really good time on a midlife, I would say. 18 to 40. Mm -hmm. And you know what I would say is a problem? The Spectre pick. I really think that really hurt them. And you know, you, you, I don't think you can line Spectre, Venge and Vint against this. And the Fissure, of course. And they proved it. You cannot. <laughs> I think even they could go for Spectre bottom with the Puck. Because, you know, Stout Shield and she should be fine with the ring. She's definitely going for Vanguard. So with the ring, she should be, she should be, you know, fine against Puck on the bottom and Rubik, uh, you know, Rubik, Vent, and Venger. That that sounds like okay line. I think Spectre should be down or bottom right away, and Rubik should go up. And Rubik is bottom. I mean, sorry, mate. And Tiny should initiate nuke. There we go. I don't think it was necessary to lift, but whatever. Again, initiation on on a Spectre. And even with the puck, well, she's completely dead. Even Vinch is dead. That was a nice trick for a puck. She was, you know, trying trying to target him on a shackle. <laughs> Didn't work out well. Yep, nice. That's what I'm talking about, you know. The puck is much more than a Rubik at this point of the time. By the way, he died. I completely missed it. I think it was a... Um, be tiny. Alright, he used the... Yep. Actually, that was very nice. Look at what Tiny's doing, wow. I was watching the minimap, and the Tiny... Okay, I will just wait for the fight to actually finish off, because the Slardar could be dead. Again, mistake from Tiny, I think. Wow, he's doing really mistakes. Whoop, Tiny just screwed his team up. Like, trust me. That was not even a good check, just power shot there, come on. <laughs> that Tiny... was horrible this time. He was going here, but he well, the Slardar went, of course, here, so Tiny backed off at this point, went like here back, and just, he was like going back and forth, and the toss on Earthshaker should be back to Slardar to kill him. Like, he didn't have the avalanche, so he thought he can kill Earthshaker with just toss. I don't know, it was, that was really badly played. Um, again, I'm not really sure if these teams are good, I don't know. But it was a only game that I could find out with Rubik, so... You know, so far I think he did double kill there, so I think Rubik is working, but not on farm against Puck. I, I don't think that works. Like, what he will buy? He's going for... Well, Bracer, okay. So you farm bottom, and your Spectre is in complete shit, just to get Bracer? I don't get it, I really don't get it. And a Tinker should be right there. 700, actually, for the... Oh, there we go with the Spectre, as I'm saying. Yep. <laughs> Not even close to surviving. Nothing they can do, level 5, level 5. Absolutely nothing. But then again, the Rubik is not a problem. I think the 
you know, of course, the Spectre pick was a problem in the beginning. Uh, I just didn't like that and the lining. I think it was just horrid. Um, I think Rubik just shouldn't be there, shouldn't be here. He should be roaming. Like, he could do so much here, you know, stealing the Fissure, even this, Lions, you know, stuff. Like, Lions' last spell was a finger. If he was there, he could have the finger right now. And we see initiation. Pretty good one, I guess, on a Slardar. Look at the farm. 41, 54, 62, 26, 56 only Rubik. But I'm saying it yet again. Rubik farm is not like Puck's farm. <laughs> not even close. That was actually pretty bad silence, but it will work out. Spectre can... Oh, she will go to the jungle. She's dead screwed. She will go to the jungle. Wow. She has Spectre. 33 creeps in 14 minutes. Wow. And 3 deaths. Wow. That is just bad. And there's a lion, so... Again, absolutely no warning. And not even Crow is scouting there, so I think... Rubik's definitely... Yep, he's cautious. <laughs> he's cautious. 100 to the port. And then, I think... It will be horrible. For Spectre, she cannot farm on any line after travels from Tinker, so just be prepared for Spectre to not have that Vanguard <laughs> for a long time. Oh, she has it. You know what, Spectre? You won't have Radiance for 30 minutes at least. <laughs> or 20, let's say 20. 20 minutes for Radiance. Around, you know, 40 minute mark, I say, she could get the Radiance, because, you know, farming in the jungle, even help, I mean, even Tiny and Venge is helping her farm in the jungle. Like, that is that insane. Puck should have the dagger very soon also. Yep, he's going for it right away. And Tinker has travels. He's just waiting for them. Yep, he's going. He's going up. And I think they see them. Yep, this is the word from, from Sentinel. They're going for it. Vitality booster. Huh. That's what I was talking about. Like, okay, here we go. Yep, that's a death. Wind run. Even Alti. Wow, it was. <laughs> At least it's a quick, I guess. And Rubik is here. Finally, finally, Rubik is here, but too late. I think you know what? Just, just, just understand what the farm gave him. Like, these items don't change what Rubik does. Level-wise, maybe, but, you know, other than that... Enchant Totem, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> There's a Tiny with a face boot. I think they should go back. I don't think they understand what they actually they have. The Sentinel. There's that Fissure. Yep, there we go. That double port, I'm really <laughs> that didn't want me anything. Because they, they don't have levels, they don't have items, they don't have anything, like, you know. Here we go. Death of Spectre. I'm not, no Spectre. <laughs> Sorry, Spectre. It's not you this time, but... Three of your teammates are definitely dead. And the Tinker will be just completely farmed, like, ultra farmed. 83 on Prox, 66 on a... And a lot of Denies, that's the fake also, you know. 23 on top, 16 on, on a mid. That's a lot. And first tower is going down, and Spectre is... Level seven. <laughs> that's that's as a support here. That's almost like a venge with boots. Like it's just pain in the ass to watch that. I think they you know they brought it uh, by themselves just by picking the spectre. I think it was really you can't say it was bold pick. I think it was stupid pick. And you know lining lining didn't work even from minute one. You know. And there we go with the initiation. That orb was far escaping, by the way. I'm not really sure escaping from who, but you know, <laughs> there's nothing they can do. And Spectre is going back to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Even farming with the dagger, like she's definitely going for radiance. Like having 1,000, she's going for radiance. She doesn't have even boots. That's the, this is the important thing to say. And she won't have boots for another, I think. No, she's not buying them. So 40 minutes in, she did, she <laughs> she can't be without boots. Be prepared, because this is kind of insane. 
What if she poured it somewhere, right? No, she didn't. Of course she didn't. <laughs> and there's the fissure, there's a lion, there's even a puck. It will be finger, look at that. Fuck it. Come on. <laughs> Zero four for Spectre. That will be their doom. I can honestly say, you know, the Spectre will be just dead weight. And unfortunately, the top was that bad that even the Venge will be screwed. She has, you know, magic wand right now. And wind, nothing. Magic wand, boots, you know. Um, that line was completely wrong. You know, even public line would probably be better than this. I'm sorry, but it's true. There's uh, a tiny. He should be definitely... let's see. What the hell? I don't... I guess he doesn't like Avalanche. <laughs> well, just... <laughs> oh boy. There's still a Rubik somewhere. Actually, there's no Rubik. There's... N oh, there is a Rubik. He could have put a... yep, there we go. Finally something. What spell he does have? I think it's... Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't really matter here. And... oh, Lion is dead. That's definitely surprising. Uh, their Spectre could do something. Nothing against Spectre, but you know, it's horrible pick, and it was horribly, horribly done on that line. 85 for Rubik. And it's wasted. I think it's really wasted, waste of, let's say, 87 creeps. <laughs> let's say 87. Yeah, I think, you know, Vanguard? It is Vanguard. You know, nothing against that, but like what it does for Rubik. Does he really need to live through the fight that much? Or just initiate, you know, cast those nukes as much as you can, you know, completely waste your mana on them? That could, that will be kill. Okay. On a bug. Waste your mana and you can die. Like, there's no problem with that. That should be kill an Earthshaker, by the way. I don't think about spell he does. Oh, he has rockets. So that's definitely nice. <laughs> That was a rearm, by the way. He could still rearm. You know, having those nukes, even though he doesn't have arcane boots, yeah, it wouldn't be actually a smart idea. Let's see the money. Money, money, money. Yeah, the wind. <sighs> Just not good. It's not good. And the thing is, it's not only Spectre. Because of the Spectre and that lining. It's a wind and avenge. Three heroes shut it down completely. <laughs> That's not good. Um, let's see, 2000. I'm still gonna say the Tinker will sh or should be annoying the Spectre with the port. Just port where she is. Laser, rockets, rearm, laser, and you can go away. And do the same thing after three seconds, you know, of port. So he should definitely be doing that. I think he will. I think he will jump on the Spectre right now. We'll see. I think he wants that. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Port up. Annoyed the Spectre. Come on. Oh, she definitely knows at this point. There's something wrong. She could... Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, there's a Clash on a Tiny. Okay, he's completely toasted. That was very nice. Steel, Dream Coil, use it, nice. That's interesting. It's definitely, you know, chaos when Rubik is in there. I'm definitely going to focus to Rubik. As you can see, he is useful. He is very much useful. But then again, his team doesn't have anything. The Spectre is there just, just to farm, basically. And that's not really what you want to have with the Spectre 20 minutes in the game, you know. Is just too bad. This this could definitely help this creep wave, but I really think he should be just annoying the specter. Oh, he's the god dagger. Now he has to annoy the specter. <laughs> Go for specter, boy. You can definitely do it. All right, this will be middle tower, and you know, if there will be graph on like money or even XP's, it would be just I think like 8k or something. Even though kills are only only 21 11. Uh, it still is a lot. Just because the farm all over the important hero is there. Here, it's nothing. Rubik has most here, most farm. Hold on, there's a Spectre. Yep. Safe situation. Fissure. Slardar. Even with the dagger. So we have two daggers so far. 
There's a tiny initiation, very nice. That was the, that was the double kill. Good. Let's see how they will play this. Um, there's no mana right away. Oh, that's swap. Um, I'm not really sure if it... Again, he's not tossing the uh, the Earthshaker. Bad positioning from, from Venge, I think. Just just basically getting in position. And there's a Tinker porting, and there's a Puck initiating, and that's it for you boys. <laughs> and Earthshaker survived. Wow. Like, that was a mistake. Really big one. Uh, you know the swap? Oh, that, there's Rubik. Here we go. I think he's got the orb, but I'm pretty sure there. You know the thing is, I think the Spectre should wait. She, I think she wanted like a, you know, assist, but I think she should wait for that. Wait for the, wait for the dagger, and then maybe you can go there, finish him with the dagger, and and of course die eventually. This should be interesting. Does he have the? He does have the shift. Okay, that was nice. That was nicely played. That's the thing. I think Rubik is actually the most useful hero. But I don't think he needed that farm, okay? I think bottom spectre would be fine because that was a war here. Only thing that they could do is pour it bottom. But then again, you know, with the Rubik and Venge and Vint on a top, that's strong. That's strong nuke. It definitely would be pretty bad for the Slaughter to be there. Well, we can't take it back, unfortunately. That was their decision and you play and you learn. But Rubik is definitely n is useful. And he's banned. He's definitely banned in, I think, almost every match right away. The interesting thing, Wisp is not banned that much. At all, actually. And I don't have a game with Wisp, you know, within the 674C version. So, I definitely think there are good combos, like a Patch and a Wisp. We saw that, I think, maybe from Navi, even. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it was Navi. Patch and Wisp basically just porting. And even when you're not porting to, to, you know, to gank somebody, the good thing is that Tether, that, you know, goes from your Wisp to the unit, it gives you so much more speed. And that's the problem with Patch, you know, it takes a few, I think, uh, enough to you, a lot of time actually to get in position to to get a decent hook. But with that Wisp, that movement speed, it's it's instant. It's you are just there, and it's definitely fast. So that can be good combo. But overall, if you know when, oh, sorry, Wisp goes like to the meta game, Ruta one. Not really sure. We have to see that. I have to see that to actually pass the judgment. I don't know yet. I see dagger, dagger. There should be dagger. Three daggers. Very nice. And oh, no, no, no. What I was talking about. Three daggers. There are four daggers, of course. It'll be initiation, definitely. Earthshaker can just just jump there and destroy them. That's the thing I was talking about. He needs to do that. He needs to do that. And he's doing it. He's shutting out a Spectre yet again. Alright. And look at the... Mm, that's just painful. I think she's going for mech, but you know, at this point of the time, like... Okay, supporting bottom. Look at Action will start. That was definitely a nice initiation of Tiny. I think it was, you know, the combo. So that was pretty decent. Um, but still, the tower has to go down. Like, what they can do. They have Rubik. That's the pretty decent nuke. I think they will just abandon this position. Like, nothing they can do about this. He's got even the orb. That's nice, definitely. But then again, yeah, they have to think. Oh, they see him. Um, it was a mistake from... Kind of a bad position from Dainé. Uh, everybody, by the way, is living right now. There's a lot of magic wands, that's probably why. There's Spectrality, she's not gonna port anywhere, trust me. She's not gonna port. She can't. She doesn't have anything. 3,700. 27 minutes in. So he could be... Hmm. Could be like 30, 31, 32, the Radiance. And again, Tinker is there. She can't just move freely. That's the thing about the thing I was talking about. He has to do it, and he's doing it properly, so... She's gone. Go to the jungle. <laughs> That's the only place you can actually farm. And there's the dagger. I think that that was the thing. Above that initiation on the Earthshaker here, that he, you know, he jumped there with the dagger. Alright. But then again, yes. Highest farm on Rubik, still. 
But the thing is, it doesn't matter. You know, level wise, it's okay, but item wise on a Rubik, like, doesn't matter. That's that's the unfortunate thing. I, it was really. I I agree, Rubik solo, but I would like Rubik to just roam. You know, not roam on a mid necessary. Even even the mid with a tinker, he could steal laser or rockets. That's what tinker uses. So he could he could have so much nuke ability on that mid, you know, or top, just be be there for the spectre. Ah, oh, that was nice. Oh, even Puck is there. Even Earthshaker is there <laughs> with a fissure and everything. Interesting swap. He sacrificed the Venger for him. Dominating. Should be that. Yep. And he doesn't because he dies. They, I mean, Karma is bitch, and that's a wipe of a team. No, it's not because Spectre is not playing <laughs> with the team. Mm. Yeah, they should definitely laugh. We see even Mech on a Rubik. I mean, sorry, the Puck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this game will be over very, very soon, as you can see. The Spectre will get Radiance. Yeah, she got like 600 left. <laughs> so it will be, you know, about 30 minutes. That's not... I was thinking like 40, but, you know, it doesn't matter at this point. Like, there's so much shit on them that she can't do anything with that. Even with the Radiance, like... The thing is, she doesn't have HPs, like, you know, 1000 HPs is nothing. <laughs> Against, you know, Slardar. Good luck. The thing was, everybody survived here because these magic sticks, as you can see, the magic stick is on everybody. It's definitely core in Dota 1. Not really sure about Dota 2 at this point of time. I don't think we see that, that you know, that the whole team basically has the magic stick. And that's a Spectre. It's a Spectre. <laughs> For whatever reason, she's there. Hmm, interesting. So, Radiance. Nope. <laughs> no Radiance. Maybe I'll be right even with the 40 minute mark. And there's a Tinker porting up. Even with the hacks. Well, that's a. That's definitely a lot of items. Again, not really sure if this is like a. Good teams or bad teams. I don't know. This is definitely some tournament CM mode, you know. Okay. But then again, I was just trying to focus on the Rubik. Which definitely, I think he did his job. Sorry, he did his job, but. He's got the Orpid again. <laughs> That's the only spanner he's got. But then again, I think he, you know, level 6, 7. Let's say he's level 7. Oh boy. I don't think it was good. <laughs> he jumped there with. Oh, the orb. It had to be mis misclick. <laughs> it had to be misclick because, you know, why would you? Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, level 7, I, sh I think he should be right there. Right here. Stealing their spells, holding them back, maybe pushing them even, you know, with those spells. Arcane boots work for your team, not for your items, for yourself. That's, I think, what Rubik should do. By the way, that shackle in Dota 2 would definitely land. I think Dota 2 is much more forgiving or has a little different mechanics about these shackles because sometimes it's like, okay, that really shouldn't hit me. <laughs> I'll be just waiting basically for the GG. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing Spectre can do. <laughs> She's farming. Well, she is. 31. I'd say 30. Yeah, 30, 33, let's say. It will be there. So there's a first Rex, there'll be a second one. There's not even a mech. Wow. That's the thing. And you, you have completely useless of Intrunner when your line will be shut down like that, you know? And you don't want that. She can be support, but you know, she needs as a support, she needs items. Oh, 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 oh. there's a Tinker rearming. I think it's a fog of war. I have to check it out. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a fog of war. And she brought it away. On the top. He was just rearming for the additional hacks, you know, just to hold her place. I think she was lucky. Um,. You know that this was here, like normally Tinker would hex her, laser, rocket, dead. She was lucky with this one, so she, so she could buy the radiance. Because we see quarter staff. Uh not really sure. It's for tiny? Yes, it's for tiny. That's a Yule Skepper. 
probably will scap rate will be. Not that it matters at this point. But definitely against this initiation, you know, it can work well. They jump, you you will, you know, and then you can jump, you know, to a different location and he, she's dead. <laughs> By the way, Spectre's down. Okay, that dead coil Rubik, come on, steal it. There we go. It doesn't work on a puck at this moment. Okay, we see. Hmm? That will do nothing. And Tinker is there. Which means complete wipe of a team. Tiny is still trying, but he can't do anything here. Nope. Nope, no, no, no. There's, the, there's, there's that hex. Look at the mana. Like, he had 1500. He used everything. Like, two free hexes. Or at least two hexes, let's say. Two rockets, lasers. That's just too much. 3414. But then again, I think Rubik is definitely the hero that is good. I'd say he should be used a lot. Or banned, you know, whatever. Um. But then again, I think this play wasn't the perfect one of him. Even the team really didn't do much. As we could see, these actions, like, really mistakes. Silly mistakes. I, I wouldn't expect this from a team. Any team, to be honest. Um, just Venture basically in that toss range and swapping him to actually give him momentum on the other side. <laughs> and Tani was not expecting that. And what is going on? The funny thing, even Lion is holding his own against the Radiance. That's... you don't want that. <laughs> I'll be just waiting for the GG, um, and then we can be, you know... You can see my second game, which will be... what is it? Orp again! <laughs> Steal something else, come on. At least the Tinkers, these freaking things. Should be definitely useful against... No, he's got the Orp. He doesn't have anything else. I'll be basically commentating on a uh, replay against a team from this tournament, I'm not really sure that she's dead. Well, maybe not, that was a nice initiation, but... Then again, Rubik has only a freaking orb all the time. And by the way, the interesting thing, if he steals his, the slate running Gush, you know, the, the stun, and they like, like clash, even when he's casting it, Rubik still can cast it faster. When he's casting it and he hits it, it's instant. So, you know, think of that. Like, you can't even cancel, like, uh, when Slaughter, like, jumping on you and you see him, you can be faster than him with that stun. That's the, that's the interesting thing. Hmm. I got a 4 staff on the hockey. It was a 4 staff. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> you know, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I think it's just a fun, fun build. We see two Yules from them. Maybe against a tiny like initiation or Rubik, I don't know. Spectre farming, look at that. 142, finally Spectre is the farm most farm hero on uh skirt side. But 202, 283, 86. That's actually enough. That's for you know he's got the dagger, he's he's going for that BKB. Well he's got the BKB. That is enough for him. He's got chaos, most definitely. 17 assists on a Slardar. That, that that's your money. He would definitely like more kills, but then again, that's a, that's a money. It counts. Yeah. So after this game, I'll be I'll be basically posting up the disruptor one. And you know, in some time, I'll be finding a probably some tournament or some game, some you know CM mode. Uh, again, you know, team against team will play Wisp. Definitely will be bringing you there. Uh, that, you know, that, that Wisp or that is Disruptor, because I think it's interesting to see. It's interesting to see new, new heroes, how, they, how, how the players will play them. Even though I don't know anything about these players, but, you know, it's definitely interesting to see teams using them. And people from Pacific... <laughs> push. You have everything you need. There's no need for... There's no need for Scaddy. No need for Scaddy. Do it. Nice. That was a weird swap. <laughs> that was a fully weird swap. Spectrum. <laughs> wow. Who drag you on Puck? Like, who would fall that Spectre will die, right? Nice. Hmm? Okay, so GG. Uh, thanks for watching. These are statistics, if you want to see them or not. 
I just wanted to, you know, put up something different. I'm not gonna commentate on, like, any tournaments in Dota 1 or even Dota 2. I'll be commentating in Dota 2 when there is a tournament worthy of a commentating and meaning even hero pool-wise. It will be, for me, probably international. And my... The other thing that I probably will follow is the idea that I need... I don't want to ask anybody to join, you know, basically the spectators, okay? Because I would have to cast it on a certain freaking, you know, like own TV or whatever, and I don't want any restrictions. I just want Valve to create a system that everybody can cast the game. And, you know, international will be perfect because it's a LAN, so nobody can, you know, be on the internet and watch the stream. It will be, you know, prestige action, prestige tournament, so I'll definitely will be casting that. But right now, I just want to see how those heroes like Rubik, Disruptor, Wisp, and Disruptor is coming after the Rubik one, this one, how they gonna play? How people or teams gonna play them? This one was unfortunate in the sense that I think the Spectre pick was just ridiculous. Uh, the lining didn't work out. I think, you know, even in the beginning, I think I said it won't work out. It can it can work out. Against that Fissure Slaughter can just walk there and stun you. Lee Lion can, you know, hex, stun. And God forbid he's got level 6, you know. <laughs> then you are completely screwed. But the Rubik, I think he did good. Against the Puck, it was back and forth, you know. Nukes and nukes and nukes. Six tangos used, I think, in two minutes. Both of them, so definitely... Sorry, again, Mike. I'm hitting the mic like crazy. Definitely interesting line. And he holds his own. You know, uh, Puck killed him, but Rubik killed him, I think, twice, even. So, overall, this line was, I think, even. But, even line, it's a good for Puck, because he can build much more better items than Rubik. As you can see, Rubik went for Vanguard and four staff. And, uh, and it, uh, that did absolutely nothing for a team, you know. I think as a Rubik, you should be solo if you don't have, you know, Spectre in team. Um, if you have Intelligent Pig, and you should have solo, and then roam. Level 7 with the nuke level 4, with your ulti, go mid, you know, smoke, whatever, try something. Help your team. I don't think Rubik is a solo freaking liney, liner, you know. He should help his team pressure the, uh, the enemy. And I think we will see that from, you know, different teams. Maybe some European teams, I think they will definitely play Rubik aggressively. You know, roaming him. With somebody else, maybe. With some support roaming him. And that's certain kill. Rubik, some support like Veno, CM, that's a kill. Right there. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. At least, you know, seeing Rubik for the first time. I'm seeing Rubik for the first time in competitive game. And there he is. So, next game will be with the Disruptor. Thanks for watching.